looking at the Ubuntu Unity 23.10 Mantic Minitor. So let's quickly boot it in a live boot. So I'm running it on a virtualization which is a VMware with a 60 GB of RAM, uh, sorry, 60 GB of hard disk and 4 GB of RAM and uh, with uh, i5 1240p CPU which is a 12th generation. screen of our ubuntu unity so here is all the keyboard shortcuts if you want to remember you can just uh, pause the video or take the screenshot let's uh, close the keyboard shortcut now so it is taking a bit of time here so let's wait for a few more seconds i guess so let's open the uh, system monitor first and uh, let's change the display settings later see more results so let's go to the system monitor now it should be around here i think i missed you can di directly type it here if you want i can't find it so let's type in so i think we don't have a system monitor here let's go with the stacer So let's first check the system resources uh, how much of a uh, system resource it's consuming in the beginning of the video so without uh, with uh, i didn't open any applications i didn't open any applications so let's uh, check it out how much of uh, resource it's taking so it is taking a lot of time to even load up or boot up the uh, in the beginning of the video so it took almost like a uh, three to four minutes to boot up to to the desktop so I'm going to trim that part so it's don't uh, you don't get bored in that so it's as you can see it's almost uh, around it's not stable so I can't say anything in the CPU but the memory is almost like a 970 MB which is almost like a 1 GB and here is the disk so hostname it says as a Ubuntu Unity and a platform Linux distribution is ubuntu 23.10 and the kernel it says as a 6.5.0-9 which is uh, available in every ubuntu and ubuntu flavors so this is the default kernel you get in all ubuntu and ubuntu flavors so in the beginning of the video it's uh, 970 mb in the ram and the cpu is uh, below 30 percent can't uh, exactly say but i can say that exactly 30 percent under so I'm going to put in the right side corner throughout the video personally I don't really like this uh, Ubuntu Unity and the other Ubuntu flavor which is Ubuntu Kyrin so these are the uh, uh, most uh, not useful or I know I will not use this Linux distro or I don't recommend this Linux distro that's my personal view or that's my uh, opinion so if you like this distros I don't have any problem it's clearly up to you so let's first change the display settings So this is pretty weird every time we need to find all the things category all the applications so let's go to the applications let's remove this thing let's go to settings you need you can type it right there in the search bar so here is the system settings and uh, let's go to the display settings let me change it to uh, 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio let's apply it keep this configuration let's close it and uh, put this taser at the right side corner so you can see the all the process throughout the video or uh, system resources throughout the video so these are the startups we don't have anything system cleaner search services all the process i didn't show you that so let me show that all the things 
so these are all the process running right now in the beginning of the video and there is a bit of uh, not a bit of the delay there is a big lag as you can see so there is a bit of lag or maybe heavy lag sometimes so it took like a four minutes while uh, to boot the desktop layout four minutes or maybe more than that i didn't uh, record the time but uh, it took a lot of time there i'm going to trim that part so you don't need to worry about that so let's go to their official website by launching the firefox web browser which is uh, the version should be like 118.0.1 uh, so that's the version which was available in every ubuntu and ubuntu flavors and this is the new uh, wallpaper of the magic miniature which is uh, in uh, ubuntu unity the wallpaper looks pretty good uh, the colors all the things looks pretty good to me but it's clearly up to you whether it looks good or bad let me know in the comment section if you want so let's open the firefox browser everything is taking a lot of time in the ubuntu unity i don't know for some reason usually it should take like a maximum like a 10 to 15 seconds in my uh, pc but it is taking a lot of time so as you can see it's showing as the, it is open but there is nothing opened here i don't know where it is opened let's try to open it again i don't think today we should be seeing a firefox web browser i guess so the firefox web browser is not trying to open so let me leave it that there so let's check out other things i already said this is the worst uh, linux distro in my opinion it should be good for you but it's a bad uh, bad linux distro for me ubuntu unity and ubuntu kailin are the uh, are my least favorite or maybe uh, i don't even like that to be honest so i don't know nothing works properly in this thing always in uh, my older version you can see i already posted uh, in my previous videos like a past version which is 22 something like that so that version was also not working so i'm trying to open the firefox web browser again let's see it shows uh, it it is highlighted but uh, i don't see the uh, web browser open and there is a bit of delay again i don't know why ubuntu uh, unity always looks like a incomplete linux distro for me for some reason do let me know in the comment section do you feel like that or uh, it's so just only me and even the ubuntu kailin will be always like this also so it's always crashing and uh, something will be going on uh, with the uh, distro always the pop-ups will be on the linux uh, like a crash as reported unexpected crash all these things will be popping up every time so firefox is not trying to open here so let's even open the thunderbird at least it opens or not let's see so this is a live boot and it's almost a cpu is almost 100 percent for some reason i don't know why and the memory is more almost a 1.1 gb and again the mozilla thunderbird also vanished for some reason i don't know where it's going so these are all the uh, desktop features as you can see to be honest i don't want to even make this video but uh, i don't have any choice so i'm making this video even i don't like this distros somehow uh, mozilla thunderbird opened but uh, we don't see the firefox browser opening and there is a major lag or major delay in the linux distro or the applications uh, taking a lot of time to open and as you can see cpu is almost 100 percent for some reason i don't know why there is nothing opened and there is a heavy lag again thunderbird version is a 
so let's close it let's try to uh, do whatever it's possible in this video so let's oh, in uh, try to install it i'm not going to install it on my hard disk because uh, i don't want to install this linux distro on my hard disk because i need to make another video so that's the reason and again installer should be taking a lot of time it vanished again so let's wait for a few more seconds and try to see whether it opens or not cpv is almost completely frozen to 100 percent and uh, it's not going down to 90 percent like that it's sticking with the 95 and 100 percent and we don't have installer opened again so it's downloading something in the background cpu went down to 80 again 90 100 percent so we see a loading screen stuck here as as you can see on the mouse mouse uh, pointer I think I should end this video because there is nothing working in this Linux system. For, it's a waste of time for you too. So these are all the available applications. I don't think I will open this distro or applications in this distro. And there is a bit of uh, lag. Heavy lag again. To be honest who want to try this linux distro always try with the live boot first then go with the installer don't try to directly install this linux distro because you, you may be facing some of the issue as i do because i already tested all the older version also i always had these issues with this linux distro if you had any issues do let me know in the comment section uh, if you don't have any issues uh, do let me know that too so it will help others i made a ubuntu 23.10.1 update there was no issues but uh, this one is a lot of problem let's try to change the desktop backgrounds or at least see the desktop backgrounds whether it works or not the firefox didn't open the installer didn't open the installer now opened it opened now it's almost like a maybe six minutes i guess after clicking on install it took like almost six to seven minutes to open this thing without anything any no language options nothing so this is the appearance you can change the desktop wallpapers themes all the things here so i'm just going to close this thing because it's a bit of lag or heavy lag in this so it is pretty much taking ages to open everything so it's clearly up to you to choose this linux distro or not i'm not going to recommend this linux distro because i can't take this a uh, lot of uh, headache it is taking a lot of time to open everything so it is 2023 we don't not we don't need anything like this which takes ages of time we don't have patience for this so i'm just going to try to install i'm just going to show you the installation process choose your language again it takes ages wait for the ages and uh, i'll meet you in next life i guess now it opened somehow so keyboard layout click on continue need to wait for ages again somehow opened fastly so if you want to check this i am not going to do anything let's me quit it and end the video because it's totally miserable to make even this video so let's quit it i'm sorry i don't want to even make this video because it is taking a lot of time ages and i don't want to waste your time on this uh, uh, linux distros so the as you can see i'm not lying the cpu is almost touching uh, every time it's 100 percent and i'm using a 12th gen i5 cpu with 8 gb of ram and i'm using a 4 gb of ram for my vmware as you can see 
but everything is taking ages and as you can see it is a lot of lag all, all the troubles i don't want to face it because i'm already tired making three videos so if you want to test it you can test it uh, if you don't face any problems do let me know in the comment section it will be a miracle for me so i'm going to end this video i don't want to take any torture because my health is important uh, more than this video sorry for that thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video so i already made a ubuntu 23.10 video if you want to check that out you can check that out in my channel so let me end this miserable video peace out